What's up guys? So before the video starts, there's a few things I wanted to address. Um, one, I apologize for the lack of content, I guess. There's been a whole bunch of setbacks we've had, like we had a bunch of electrical issues and then just every problem you could have with a Miata we've had. So that's been another reason we haven't produced any videos. But um, before the video starts, I want to let you guys know I get the oil or the water feed and the water return mixed up. The water return is what's going into the water pump and the feed is what's coming out of the coolant reroute. So if I mix that up, just come back to the beginning of the video, I guess, because that's the, the return goes into the water pump and the feed comes out of the coolant reroute. So I hope that doesn't confuse, it, confuse anybody. I don't know how I mixed it up. I guess I just wasn't paying attention. I don't know. But um, anyway, here's a video, and uh, hopefully I'll have some more out shortly. Peace. All right, what's up guys? So today I'm gonna be working on the turbo lines. So what I'm gonna be working on now is the oil drain. So an issue I ran into when I tapped the pan, I didn't um, take an account of where the AC uh, bracket was gonna be. And as you can see, that is kind of a problem. So I got a 90 degree that I'm gonna use like that and I'll point it up towards it, towards the turbo, and then run a line and the line will kind of kind of go like that. So first thing we gotta do is take off this housing and take this fitting out. And then hopefully um, I can get this pointed in the right direction. And then after that, we're probably gonna have to cut out a little chunk, a little corner of the bracket to fit it but let's start with taking this off and getting the uh, fitting in. All right, so ran into a problem. Surprise, surprise, this whole build's been nothing but problems. So the issue was I bought this to go to angle it under here, but the problem was is that this hole right here is too close to the edge of the block, so when I was trying to thread it, it would hit the edge of that and I couldn't thread it. Otherwise, this would work perfect. So, what I had to do was this came with my Beggy uh, coolant reroute or coolant spacer. So, it's just a little 45 degree. So, I'm just going to thread this on like that and then run the hose like that. And so that way it's still going down because you don't want the oil to have to come back up because it can slow the process down or slow the flow down. And that can cause all sorts of super fun turbo blowy yuppy problems. So um, I got this threaded. So now all I gotta do is cut the AC bracket. So it looks like I'm gonna have to cut quite a lot actually. This little corner right here so I'm gonna probably I'm gonna either cut that or do the line and make the line I don't really know what I'm gonna do yet first so I'll figure that out All right, boys, we got them. So, oh man, this is awesome. Because this has been something I've been stressing for, stressing about for like three weeks. And all it did, all it took was just cutting off a little part of the bracket. And for those of you wondering, it doesn't affect it at all because the four bolts, so that's mounted to the block with these four bolts, which I didn't cut around or didn't cut into. And then these four bolts right here mount the compressor to the bracket. So all this was just extra room. So now all I gotta do is run a line or cut the line and do that. And then the whole feed is done. So I'm really, really excited on that. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this line cut and put into the fitting. All right, what's going on guys? So this is day 
two or three, I, I, I've lost total track of time. It's been a few days of me working on the turbo lines. So what we're gonna do today is finish the, um, we're gonna finish the uh, oil drain. So I'm gonna cut the line and then made it up to this hose and that hose will be done. And then we're going to tap this little hole right here and put a AN6 to 1 8 NPT fitting or a 90 degree. And then after that, um, I'm gonna cut a hole or cut a chunk out of this. It doesn't fit with this line right here so that when you put this on it kind of butts up against it so I'm just gonna cut a little notch out and then um, that's probably gonna be it so yeah so first I'm probably gonna start with the hose so that'll be easiest and then after that I have the tap and drill bit for the, uh, the hole so I'm gonna first get this line done so let's start with that all right looks like i'm gonna have to recut it because what the hell so um yeah that's lit all right no surprise i have to redo this whole line because the tips keep fraying and make it impossible to get into the fitting so that this tip right here i've got is in there and it's perfect and it's ready to go is useless so that's awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and try to redo this for the second time and see how it goes. Alright, so I'm giving up on the oil return because it's just being a pain in my ass and I'm about to get pissed off and just quit. So right now what I'm going to do is tap that hole right there, drill it out with a, I believe an 11 64th drill bit, and then tap it. And hopefully that actually works so I can make some progress. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Alright guys, so this is day, who knows, this is like week two of turbo lines, so I've, I got this drain fitting, I got this drain fitting done, I got the fittings for the turbo on each side done, um, so now what I'm going to do is get the fitting with the hose for the back of the head, so the return to go to the return of the turbo. So get that line done. I have the garage closed because I have to use a Dremel when it's like 10 o'clock at night. So what that means is I have to grind out. So you can see there's a little edge on the inside of that fitting and that has to be ground down because it makes it too hard to get the line in, which is a problem I was having before. So I'm gonna go ahead and grind down these two or three fittings and then we can get the hoses in and get the lines all fitted. So I'm gonna start by grinding down these lines with the Dremel. Alright, so that's what it looks like when they're ground out. It's kind of hard to see. There's not a huge difference, but it's just enough to get the fittings, to get the hose in. So right now what I'm going to work on is getting the hose into one fitting and making sure it fits. And if it doesn't, then i got to regrind it. So. All right, well, just had a breakthrough. I figured out that if I just prop the vise against the uh, toolbox, 
I can use it to, where did it go? Um, I can use it to push the hose into the fitting, which makes it about a million times easier. So that's really good news. I wish I learned that before. So now um, I'm gonna actually get this into Alright, so I got the line in, so that's one down. Now I gotta go fit it onto the block and measure how long the second one has to be, or the next cut has to be. Alright, so I got the return line done. So from start to finish, it connects to my veggie spacer with a 90 degree 3 8 MPT to 6AN fitting. Then it goes to a 90 degree 6AN or A and 6 fitting to A and 6 hose. Then it goes under the turbo to just another 90 degree. So the return's done. So um, I'm gonna wrap it up for tonight, pick it up in the morning. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Peace. All right guys, so this is, I don't even know. I've been working on these lines for like two weeks. But anyway, so all that's left is the water feed to the turbo and the oil feed I don't have the oil lines or I have the I don't have all the bits to get the oil feed done but I do have all the stuff for the water feed so and instead of doing time lapses of me doing all that you guys I've showed you how to make um, braided lines and everything and it's I've kind of this video is gonna be super long anyway so I'm just gonna film it and then do it and film it etc so anyway the I tap the water pump, got a 90 degree in there, and then I'm just got a hose in, uh, AN6 hose in. Hose is gonna wrap around here, and it's gonna come in and go right here, which is where I'm gonna have this T. So I'm gonna have the T sitting about right here, and then that is gonna go, the hose is gonna go from here, which is the water feed, wrap down here into this further one right here, and then it's gonna go back around to the other side of the head, and go on to that to finish, where is it, right here, to finish the whole uh, water path and everything because I deleted the uh, coolant neck. So anyway, let's first, I'm gonna get the line into this fitting and we'll go from there. All right guys, so it was a few days later, I've had to do this. I've only had a certain amount of time to do these oil line or the water lines, so anyway, I finished it, it comes up through here, then it comes down through here, then tees, and it goes right here. So this is the return, and then it wraps around the other side of the motor. This is the feed, goes from right here to the coolant reroute. So um, yeah, so the next video will be, the engine will be in the car and we'll be wiring everything up and doing the intercooler piping and all that good stuff, so stay tuned for that later. Alright. Oh god, this is f***ing awkward. Oh man, alright. What's up guys? The return is from the head. Or, f***. The return. Alright, so as usual, this stupid engine is gonna make me want to kill myself. I swear to god. Okay.